Hey everybody, what is up? It is Miss O'Neill here and today is a good day to have a good day. We are jumping right back into our religion chapter all about how we honor the saints and Mary, how we do it as just one person and how we come together and do it as a church. So today's lesson, as you can see in the big blue sentence at the top of page 288, is that we honor Mary with special prayers. I see a green cross right underneath me gather, which means we're going to pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go ahead and be my echo here. Holy Mary, we love you. Awesome. So a quick question that I have for you is, what do families do to get ready for babies before they are born? What are some things that families do to get ready for babies before they are born? Well, you have to set up a nursery, a special room, or a special place for just the baby. You're going to have to get some baby clothes, special baby foods, um, high chairs, and car seats, and a whole bunch of things. You have to make sure you have things ready for the baby. You have to make sure that the people in your family know um, how to take care of the baby too, right? I remember that when my younger brother, well, he's 18 now, but when I was, I think it was six or seven years old, he was going to be born, six years old. Um, and he was newborn, my mom, before he even came into the world showed me the right way with my baby dolls of how to hold a baby and to make sure that when I held my little baby brother I was doing it safely okay <clears throat> excuse me and I'm sure you have your own ideas too and you're probably shouting them at the screen or shouting them in your head at the screen right now because I didn't get them but that's okay I want you to keep your thoughts and your ideas in your mind as we keep on reading together we believe Mary had a cousin named Elizabeth. Elizabeth was older than Mary. Elizabeth was going to have a baby too. Mary went to visit her cousin and help her. And you see the Bible, which are the book picture, which means we're going to be reading something right from the Bible. Are you ready? I'm excited. When Elizabeth saw Mary, she was very happy and excited. The Holy Spirit helped Elizabeth to know that God had chosen Mary to be the mother of his own son. Elizabeth said to Mary, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And that's from Luke 1 42. These words to Mary are part of one of the church's prayers. It probably sounded familiar to you as we were reading it. We call this prayer the Hail Mary. Um, the activity man on top of page 289 is telling us to add our own decorations to the prayer frame. This is something that you can do when you have your religion book back in your hands. All right, are you ready? Let's pray the Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Um, while we were reading that, you were probably a little bit confused on the words. So there are different ways to say Hail Mary. When we do it together as um, SPCC, we don't say the words you. We say the word the. Um or the word thy to mean you and your, okay? Totally fine, still the same prayer. Let's read the Ask Catholics bubble together, or box, I mean. The rosary is a prayer in honor of Mary. When we pray the rosary, we use beads as we pray. We begin with the sign of the cross, the Apostles' Creed, Our Father, three Hail Marys, and a glory be to the Father. Then, there are five sets of ten beads to pray Hail Marys. Each set begins with the Our Father, 
and ends with the glory be to the Father. As we pray each set of ten beads, we think about the lives of Jesus and Mary. Plan a time this week to pray the rosary with your family. That is your super special religion challenge, if you are up for it. If you don't have a rosary at home, that's totally cool. You could look up pictures of the rosary online. I'm sure there are even YouTube videos where you can pray the rosary together. We respond. What do you think Elizabeth's words to Mary might be today? And then pray the Hail Mary now, which we all just did together anyway. Awesome! That is today's religion lesson, talking all about how we honor Mary with special prayers. We're going to talk a little bit more about Mary tomorrow as well. I hope you're ready for that. I love you a lot. I miss you a bunch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.